why are we surprised there were so many horse girls growing up when we were raised by one? Today, I am so freaking excited because I'm finally doing a movie commentary, which I haven't done in like two weeks. And for some reason, that seems like a really long time to me. And we are kicking it old school. We're going to be watching one of my childhood favorite films. We are going to be watching the Hannah Montana movie. So without further ado, let's get started and watch the Hannah Montana movie starring Miley Cyrus and other people. No, cause this was, I, I'm like already screaming because this was so revolutionary. Like this is, I really hope they give like Olivia Rodrigo a movie like this because the kids need it. The kids really do need it. They need Olivia Rodrigo to have a movie like this about her character in High School Musical, the series, or whatever that freaking was. I don't know what it was. I've never seen it. You were the only pop star I know who can't get into her own concert. Okay, there's a major plot hole in Hannah Montana, by the way. I just have to point this out before I even continue on this video, and it's about Billy Ray Cyrus, because in the world of Hannah Montana, everyone knows Billy Ray Cyrus is Hannah Montana's songwriter, right? And then he's also Miley Cyrus's dad. And so it just like, I don't know how people aren't connecting the dots. Like you always see Billy Ray Cyrus with Hannah Montana. And then you also, all of her friends always see Billy Ray Cyrus. You know what I mean? Like someone could have connected the dots a lot sooner. And also that wig doesn't change anything about her. Yeah. <laughs> I like that laugh. <laughs> I freaking wanted that. Everything Hannah Montana had, I wanted. I wanted her wardrobe, I wanted her makeup, and I wanted that damn wig. Oh, she looks so good. I'm sorry, but the wig evolution for Hannah Montana was insane. Cause look how good that looks. Hey, don't give me no lip. You're the one that wanted best of both worlds. That's so cute. Like literally Hannah Montana is so cute. Like this, I don't know, this is the relationship she has with her dada and like the best of those world concept. She's just like, she's an international pop star, but she's also got to do the dishes at night. And I feel like some of these celebrities nowadays like need to be humbled. Like Olivia Rodrigo, like, do you do the dishes at night or do you just hang out with the patals, apatals? Let's, let's talk about that. Dude, this was sensational. You get the limo out front. Ooh, oh, hotter styles, every shoe, every color. Oh, like seeing Hannah Montana in such high quality is really amazing. You, you get, get the, the best of both worlds. Chill it out, take it slow. Then you rock out the show, you get the- I'm kind of giving Hannah Montana right now, like, curly hair with the bangs, like, I could be Asian Hannah Montana, and that's really cool for me. I promised my girls I'd say hi to you for them. Hi. Hi. The most cursed image I can think of is that this character would be James <laughs> Corden in this day and age. Like, if Olivia Rodrigo the movie came out, the stalker would be played by James Corden. And that's really disappointing. Sometimes I just wish I could be Hannah all the time. You and me both, kid. But she literally can. She could just dye her hair and she wouldn't have to worry about this living double lives. You know what I mean? Like, the wig is really what gets her. Like, the wig is really what gets her. Like, the stage name is not really a problem because even Miley Cyrus, that's not even her real name. <laughs> Most celebrities you know have stage names, even if you think they're not stage names. Like, Meryl Streep, don't, don't you, don't you, don't let that old lady fool you because that's not her name. Because when have you ever met another Meryl Streep? Exactly. Lily Sweet 16. Honestly, how dare Lily complain about, I, oh, sorry, I, I, I'll get to it, but I was always kind of annoyed with Lily. You will never, ever, ever make it up to me. I'm sorry. People are probably like, why is she, why is Hannah Montana apologizing to Lily? And how does Lily know Hannah Montana? We have questions, a lot of questions that never get answered. She should have just called Lily and been like, hey, can you like sneak me go. in somewhere or something? There was a lot of options. I'm just saying, Little Miss Lily. Lily! Lily, we got cake! I. Lily was actually such a sore loser. Like, 
you could have easily if you just went and been like oh my god i know hannah montana everyone would have been up your ass like if you wanted the attention girl get the attention and go use those connections for some attention like really like you could have just went up on stage hannah would have been like come on lily let's come up on stage like you're the birthday girl i came here just for you we're really close friends and you should have been like oh my god like Everyone's gonna be like, oh my God, Lily knows Hannah Montana. I will never forgive you for this. <laughs> for what? Like being a pop star and being, making, p shedding some light onto this party that was boring? Uh, Hannah not going to New York is really not an option. Her name is Miley. Uh, and Miley will be back before she leaves. She's a superstar. I can get her a private jet if she wants. I don't know why he's complaining about it when he's the one that let her do this all in the first place. You know what I mean? He let her arrange this like he let her be a superstar and he was a superstar so what's he complaining about he's like oh my god she doesn't know what it's like to be a kid like d you were a celebrity too stop the truck i'm not doing this i want to go home stop the truck stop the truck i loved it that she had that voice crack all the time ask me again in two weeks right now let's just see if a country girl still exists two weeks think of it as a hannah detox I just think he's a really big hypocrite because he literally is a celebrity. Like, he's a songwriter. He's a country music star. Vote. Give that back, you mangy little... Now look at that. Girl, don't, Girl, don't even recognize her own horse. Now that truly is sad. Now that truly is sad. Blue jeans? Blue jeans? He... I can't believe she named her fucking horse BJ. <laughs> I can't believe she did that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Let's get crazy. Oh. <laughs> that smile, dude. His, the corners of his mouth are so sharp that his smile looks so nice. Blue jeans doesn't really take well to strangers. Especially not dirty, uh, sparkly ones. He's so cute. I'm sorry. He was always so, like, he literally, like, he was the embodiment of, like, the childhood crush. Because he was, like, in Hannah Montana. He was in You Belong With Me in Taylor Swift's music video. And then a few years later, then he's in X-Men as freaking Havoc. And it's a continuous childhood crush that, like, continues on. You know what I mean? It's like, like, he was a crush that I was like, I don't want to know anything about you. <laughs> I don't have any need to know more about you because I know if I find out more about you, you're not going to be my crush anymore. So you are literally just the characters in the movies. And that's how it all should be, really. Like, at a point, we need to get to the, this point again where we can just be like, I don't need to know anything about you, Timothy Chalamet. I will just appreciate you from afar, as a celebrity fan relationship should be. Okay? Okay. Okay. Miley? Miley? <laughs> Miley? I guess I had a pretty big crush on you back then, but don't worry about it. It's genuine. I'm, I'm over, it. over it. Like, the country accents in this are like, because they give such a good sass to the characters that it makes it so, like, I don't know. Am I strictly a professional opinion? I do believe that this movie has so much personality. And part of that reason is because it's like a country bumpkin movie. And I love it because like that country sass is just so, it adds so much personality to the characters rather than it just being like bland and like boring. I don't know. Just like the way she was standing, she's like, mm. and then he's like, I'm over it. Like, the country accent is going to come out of me just because I mirror what I see and I'm mirroring what they're doing. I practically saved her life surfing the other day. She owes me big time. We're like, we're like best friends. Why do they have so much tension? Like the romantic tension is through the roof. Like I know she, oh, and he just lifted her. Like that's like actually insane. Like I'm screaming inside. Like 10 year old Trin is screaming right now. Oh my God, it's the pictures from Harry Potter. It's the mug shots from Harry Potter. They move, that's insane. I just miss my Miley. Why does everyone keep saying that? Maybe you should be asking yourself that question. But I don't know how these adults around her didn't think that she was going to have a crazy identity crisis when she got to more formative years. Like, they're all criticizing her for being, like, a bratty, like, teenage pop star. But I'm like, first of all, teenagers are already bratty. She would have been bratty whether or not she was Hannah Montana or not. And also, you put her in this predicament because you let her do it, even though... 
it's pretty common sense. It's pretty much common sense to believe that a child going through formative years and living two lives would have a major identity crisis when the time came and it would be explosive. Oh my God, look at him. I'm like not even gonna say what like thoughts just went through my mind cause I really can't. How dare this movie, how dare this movie tell all of us that we could be a little country girl and find a cowboy and build a chicken coop with him. How dare they tell us that? Because if I go in this town, I'm not becoming a little country girl and meeting a cute farm boy. I'm gonna get verbally abused or something like I'm not gonna be accepted the way I want to be as a country girl god this movie is really good and this looks exactly like Edward and Bella's honeymoon so it's kind of insane how this scene is always forever embedded in our minds as the most romantic place to be waterfalls we should probably get going we don't want to be late for the fundraiser damn they're amazing this movie's really good steady plot interesting throughout the entire way great character development great character arc and acting great Before. yeah well maybe he's starting to mean something again okay. oh sorry ah! down for this next song if that's all right that is fine by me <laughs> that is so fine by me guess she would be crazy if she didn't Shh, can you guys be quiet i'm trying to listen to taste swift mm, i hate that it keeps cutting away from <laughs> taste swift Just uh, that I can't believe Taylor Swift is in this movie. Like it really just le it levels it up. Like it really does level it up. Like you bring back country Taylor Swift. Bring her back because she's been wh when the world needed her the most. She vanished. She vanished in the shadows. I I truly think if Taylor Swift came back and released a country album, the world would be better. The world would be a way better place. No, 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 no. Trap, no. Oh, just say you're gonna sing a Hannah Montana song. Do it. I dare. I literally dare you to sing a Hannah Montana song right now. Dude, I, you're not ready. You're you're not ready for this. It's embedded in my mind forever. There's there's so much knowledge from school algebra left my mind. It's gone. It went in one ear out the other. That information has been separated and never used again. But the hoedown throwdown stays in my mind. So don't you forget it, babes. In the sky, move side to side, jump to the left, stick it, glide. livened up the party but the the, pe the thing is that people in the town are like oh my god the people in the town are like oh my god she can sing <laughs> how did y'all not know this but the thing is it didn't even need to be miley that's the thing billy ray knows miley or billy ray knows hannah montana he writes her songs he writes the songs everyone knows that billy ray is famous like why are we acting like the Jonas Brothers in the Hannah Montana show meet Billy Ray and they're like, oh my God, because they know who Billy Ray is. He's a country music star. So Billy Ray could call up Hannah Montana. Why does it have to be Miley? I have issues with this plot because people are just forgetting that Billy Ray knows Hannah Montana. That Hannah would be the guest of honor at the mayor's big lobster hoo-ha tonight. Actually, Lily did. Actually, Hannah did. But I promised Travis. You know what? They should have just had Lily put on a big ass country accent keep the glasses on this would have been a wonderful time for masks i just don't know why she didn't tell him he literally works on her grandma's barn like just tell him just say hey bae like can we move it back like an hour or something i got a dinner to go to i'm helping out my dad with the mayor's dinner there's many many solutions to this and i don't like it when movies decide to be stupid uh you do know you only have one earring Trendy LA thing. As a man, why would you point that out? As a man, why would you point out that I only have one earring on? The suspicious. I really should take this. I'm sorry. It'll just be a second. I swear. I'll probably get better reception in the back. Scenes like this are so, um, they're very frustrating when they don't have to be this way. Like when the situations at hand don't need to be like this, but, um, I love them.
I love them because it's just so much chaos and it's so um in a way it builds suspense it's a really good suspense builder of if they're gonna get caught or not I love that and uh, I, I think I know some of the things you want to tell me and He has a very charming smile. So I'm sorry. Like, too, and... this is why I can't know anything more about him. I cannot know anything more about him because of that smile. Dude, wait. The scene that's... I can't even play it because it's so... I can't even, like, continue on without, like, saying a few words first. Like, can I just say... Have a moment of silence and say a few words before this scene happens? Because, oh my god, it changed lives. The world shifted at this point because all because of a little shit, <laughs> because all because of a little girl who couldn't mind her own business. <laughs> this all happened because she couldn't mind her own business. Like, come on. The usage of the spinning door. Also, I have criticisms of it as well, but let's just watch it because it actually ruined my life. And she went around in this spinning door like three times. How are you taking off your makeup and pulling off the wig and continuing to go through this door so many times? Like, she's been in there for eight minutes. For him, it's a really big moment. For the little girl, it's just like, oh my god, Hannah Montana has brown hair. She's a liar. But for him, it's like, oh my god, Molly? Hannah, whoever you are, we're done. Dang. Travis. Travis. Travis, please. Travis, please. He's not being very understanding of the situation, might I add. <laughs> I have to say he's not being that understanding or forgiving, in my opinion. And that little girl needs to mind her business. She's snooping in places she shouldn't be snooping. God, she was so talented. She is so talented. She's such a talented little young lady. Scared things wouldn't turn out right. That was everything. Dude, this is just, it, it is making me like kind of want to cry right now because it is just like, I don't know, this movie like encompasses that like inner child for me for some reason. It's just very much like, wow, this was really my childhood, like watching this movie and like, I don't know, just like growing up with Hannah Montana hit different. I'm sad for the people that don't have like a Hannah Montana to grow up with. You know what I mean? <laughs> Gotta stay back. I'm not the agent. I'm not the manager. I'm the grandma. I'm the real deal. But okay, she literally says that. She goes, I'm I'm the grandma. Like who, of who? Cuz at this point we don't know you as Hannah Montana's grandma. You're Miley Stewart's grandma. What's not making sense? Like <laughs> I don't really know what's what's not clicking here that like they're just saying they're like I'm her best friend or like I'm her grandma. I'm her daddy. Like who? As far as we know, we don't know any of Hannah Montana's relatives, but you guys keep saying it. Right now she just got in because she said she was a grandma of like nobody. She just had a stage presence that was like no other. Come on. Sometimes I walk a little faster in the school hallway just to get next to you. Some days I spend a little she like dance. Diamond <laughs> on the inside dying to say. I'm unusual, not so typical, way too smart to be waiting around. That cheese practice is no more champion. I could be the father. I might even be a rock star. I might even be a rock star. Cut the music. Cut the track now. I can't do this. I don't want to save this town. I can't perform. I really don't want to save this fucking town. I don't give a fuck about this. The last time I stood on this stage, I was six. I was just Miley. They're like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> They're like, who the fuck is a Miley? And I still am. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I love it that the people that knew Miley are like, what the fuck? <laughs> like you have got to feel like a dumb dumb. Like you have got to feel like an idiot if you didn't recognize. I didn't mean to. I just think it's so funny that the whole crowd is like, who the fuck is this person? And why do we care? <laughs> Life's a climb. But the view's great. This is my favorite song from the movie. Sorry. I know. 
It's the most popular one, but it's still my favorite. And it's so good. It's like aged so well. I can almost, almost see it. it. That dream I'm dreaming, but with no direction. direction. Oh my God, it's so good. It's actually so good. But I, I got a cheap job. <laughs> but she had to give the backup singers a song to learn. Like they had to learn something. So they knew something crazy was about to happen. And the band had to know too. It does sound like a church anthem though. It's it's it is giving like worship. <laughs> maybe they maybe they're onto something with worship music. Maybe they're onto something. I will keep the faith. Was this Christian propaganda the entire time? <laughs> Was this religious propaganda the entire time? Did we grow up on religious propaganda? Yes. Please be Hannah. We'll keep your secret. No, you won't. You're a big fat liar. You're a big fat liar, just like those people in Spider-Man when he saves them from literally diving off the end of a bridge. And they're like, we'll keep your secret. It's like, no, you won't. Like, that was more realistic in Spider-Man because there was only a train full of people. This is a whole venue. This is a whole, there's press. It's a charity event. You're not keeping my secret, little girl. <laughs> I like how people are like, fuck Miley, that song was ass. Put the wig back on now, or else. Put the wig back on, or else something bad's going to happen. You guys were all shitting on her for being Hannah this entire movie, and now you're like, put the wig back on. Uh, remember that crush I had on you, and I said I was over it? Yeah. So not over it. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Oh. This song is so good. It literally, I, I used to listen to this on my way to school, in high school. You wake up, it's rainy and it's Monday. Looks like it's one of those rough days. You can change your hair and you can change your clothes. You can change your mind, that's just the way it goes. You can say goodbye and you can say hello. Cause you always find your way back home You can change your style, you can change your dreams You can learn to fly and you can chase your dreams But you'll always find your way back Oh my god, she's getting it! Ooh, imagine if they run someone the fuck over <laughs> Committing murder as Hannah means that I can get away with it as Miley? Mm -hmm. That's what you call a fucking great movie. Like you call it a, what it is. It's a good movie. Yeah, yeah. Today's video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. If you don't know what ExpressVPN is, I'm here to tell you all about it. If you don't know what a VPN is, a VPN is a virtual private network and it creates a secure tunnel between your device and the internet. ExpressVPN protects you from hackers trying to steal your private information. Whenever you connect to an unencrypted Wi-Fi network, which can be at an airport, at a coffee shop, at a hotel, or even at your home, you are at risk for hackers trying to steal your information. If a hacker is connected to the same uncrypted Wi-Fi network as you, they can easily access your information, and that includes private information, banking info, and passwords. Using the internet without ExpressVPN is generally just a risk that I don't believe is worth taking. So I always use my ExpressVPN. I've been using it for years. I got mine from using Curtis Connors code. So you know, I'm a true fan. ExpressVPN also gives you unrestricted access to all parts of the internet. And that includes streaming sites, it includes YouTube. If you are seeing content that's not available in your region, you can go over to ExpressVPN, change your region and Bada bing, bada boom. It's as easy as that. You know what I mean? I use this all the time. I'm a movie commentary. I, I'm a movie commentator. I need, I need to be watching things, and I need to have all the content I can get. So why would I restrict myself by not using ExpressVPN? I gotta use it all. Now, if that's not enough to convince you, ExpressVPN also has the fastest speeds. ExpressVPN invests in only the premium servers, making them consistently faster than other VPN providers. And if you have any questions, ExpressVPN has 24 seven customer service. So this means if you need to live chat with someone and ask them questions about ExpressVPN, they are on the line in seconds, not hours. And if you think this is a super complicated app to install it's not you literally just download it with a few clicks you can have expressvpn 
up and running and there you go bada bing bada boom like i said before it's bada bing bada boom you are using your internet and you feel just better it, it feels like a little envelope around your internet usage it's great find out how you can get three months free of expressvpn by clicking the link at the top of my description or by going to expressvpn.com slash trend level thank you expressvpn for sponsoring today's video <laughs> aged perfectly literally it's an hour and 45 minutes it went by like nothing because it's a perfect movie and i'm not even just saying that as someone who has a super hardcore nostalgia for it like it literally goes by like no time at all like it's a very entertaining movie if you like this video give it a thumbs up and follow me on all my social medias links to them will be in the description box down below and subscribe for more videos and make sure you guys subscribe so you can see more videos from me a lot of you guys watch and you're not subscribed so you might as well subscribe you're already here you know what i mean and check out a bunch of other my videos there will be links to them at the end of the video and that is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed and i will see you next time bye